but we are turning to a tragic story that's been developing all morning. A fire kills two people, destroys a home, and damages several others in Kingston. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes joins us live from the scene with the latest details. Kevin. Well, good morning, Kelly. You know, through the early morning hours, what we saw was firefighters from around the area rushed to the scene here on Ely Street, a structure fire. But what we also saw was the home that is now being demolished behind me while a mother and son fell in the flames. So we could hear somebody outside screaming, your house is on fire, your house is on fire. It was a rude awakening just before 1 o'clock Thursday morning. A structure fire on a quiet street in Kingston turned into a nightmare for crews responding from across the Wyoming Valley and Back Mountain. We had multiple hydrants that were frozen solid from Luzerne into Kingston. I don't know what the reason is for that. So it did hamper our efforts a little bit. Tankers eventually arrived on scene, and as the water poured into the firefight, it froze and made the effort that much more daunting. The work persisted as neighboring homes caught flames. Nicole Orso lived next door and was alerted when smoke filled her son's attic bedroom. We have three kids, so we got the three kids, my husband and myself, and got out of the house by the time we came out of the house. The neighbor's house was just fully engulfed. The flames reached the Orsos as well as the neighboring home on the other side. That's where Michelle Ryman's 80 year old father escaped from. It's terrifying. It was terrifying to hear he was here. Thankful that he got out and was saved, rescued with the firefighters. Everyone was not as lucky. Orso remembers her neighbor who perished. The lady was such a sweetheart. She was, she was always outside. She loved my kids. My kids loved her. It's it's a sad day. Although a long and trying morning for many. Our family is safe, taken care of, warm. That's all that matters right now. We will safe. replace everything else. Now, we're told at least six people between the three homes, four structures in total that were affected, were offered American Red Cross care, but refused many of them now more than ever are relying on local friends and family after this tragedy. Reporting live in Kingston, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News. Kevin, thank you, and the cause of that fire is still under investigation.